I'm high. He's drunk. He done made that splat all over my back seat. Beavis and Butthead outside the car trying to fight over a glizzy. Back in freshman year at college, I had a friend that was wild, yeah. She was the young and the restless. We're not gonna use her real name, we're gonna call her Becca. All she wanted to do was have fun. You know, the usual college mentality. Smoke, drink, party, get her back blown out at the end of the night, cause she was finally free from the clutches of her strict parents. And you know what they say, the stricter the dad, the wilder the daughter. Now when the college scene, a girl, a guy like this is normal. So I expected the wild part. And sometimes when she wasn't being a head ass, she was a vibe. But when she was being a head ass, which was 90% of the time, she was very selfish and reckless with her words and actions. As long as something bad didn't happen to her, she didn't care. She said something so delusional and ignorant one time that I booked my own therapy appointment. Plus, she was a hot Cheeto girl, which made things even worse. Y'all know what type of girl that is. They always sit in the back of the class eating 30 different varieties of chips, messy bun, 12 inch nails. The color of her tongue is either blue, red, or green, depending on what lollipop she been sucking on that day. Her Snapchat score is probably 300,000. The big eyelashes with the hoop earrings, and the baby hairs laid down to the T. Loud as hell for no damn reason. And they always keep either Jordan 1s, 11s, white Harachis, or Air Forces, cause they ready to fight 24 seven. I remember this one semester, she hired me as her personal Uber. She said she paid me $40 a day to drive her anywhere at any time. Which left me kinda concerned cause her family ain't rich. She ain't got a job. So she had to have been moving something to accrue them type of funds. And I ain't talking about that ass. I I only know three things you could do with $40 minimum. Lose your virginity, get a full tank of gas, or buy 10 chicken sandwiches for the week in your dorm so you don't gotta eat that slop at the calf. <clears throat> I'm about to puke right now just thinking about it. So I shrugged off the concern and took the job. Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is get her from point A to B? Say less. Now here I am, a side job. I thought everything was gonna be good. Completely unaware of how deep this rabbit hole was finna get. Cause every time I did my job right, something always went left. All was good for like two weeks. She was on her best behavior. Every time she got in the car, it was a vibe from A to B. I was making so much bread on top of the job that I already had that every time I sat down in class, I'd purposely make paper origami just to have my teacher come up and ask me what I'm making. I said more than you. Third week roll around. She getting a little too comfortable. One day she texts me at 3 a.m. talking about she need a ride. I said, it better be to the bank because I'm gonna need an extra tip for me waking up at these type of hours. But this is what I signed up for. So I get my keys and I dip. I get to her location, which happened to be at a club. She get in the car, but not alone. Somebody got in with her. I said, whoa, 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 hello now. This ain't no public transportation. I only see one golden ticket for the Polar Express, not two. Becca, who is this? Call me Mr. Krabs. Gas ain't cheap. He gotta pay. She slid me $30 and said, don't worry about who he is. Just take me to his house and gave me the Addy. Now, my first thought was to check Shouty for disrespect in this car that I reside in. But that $30 told me otherwise. It told me to shut up and keep driving. I was a broke college student. Y'all don't understand. I needed that $30. <laughs> There's a lot of things I wouldn't do for $30, but this just happened to be tame. So I'll let it slide. Dude in the back, he was real quiet too. I already knew what was finna go down cause she had on a hoodie, a bag, and some leggings. If that don't scream Dooney land, then I don't know what is. Plus I ain't never seen him around school. He must be a local or something. So I drop her off. Next day she texts me talking about come bring her back to campus. I get up there. She looking out the window like she on cloud nine. I say, you uh, had a good time? She like, shh. It slid me another 30. <laughs> I don't think y'all understand. That money she was giving me had me on lock. If she told me to jump, I'd say how high. Now the fourth week was when life took a 180. I had to put my two weeks notice in on the hell for this. One day she hit me up literally right after I was done fasting, talking about she need a ride, meet her at the side of the main building. Now I ain't ate nothing in 24 hours, so I'm high key annoyed. I ain't have no time to stop and eat. Plus the vending machines in my dormitory was fresh out of snacks, which was all I needed anyway, cause I got a little stomach. So I decided to just thug it out and eat when I get back. I grab my keys and dip to her location. She get in the car, but not alone. I look back, I'm like, Becca, what the? Is that the janitor? She like, yeah, what about it? I'm like, hold, hold on now. Both of you got me 50 shades of fuck. 
stuff. You. Listen, brother man, I know you are a janitor, but right now it seems like you're trying to get more than the floor wet. Mm-hmm. Right on, brother. But that's besides the point. I don't know if she told you the rules or not, but you can't be smoking in my car, especially not cigarettes. You, have you lost your mind? Why you keep bringing these random folks around when we agreed only you? She like, I ain't got no extra money this time, but I do have food to compensate, which caught my attention because I'm hungry. I ain't had no food in 24 hours. So she caught me at the right time. She like, I got some gummies you can eat, but they not regular gummies. So you gotta be careful. Man, what you talking about? Not nah, normal. <laughs> talking about not normal. Man, you look like regular no- Wait, are these? Yep. Why didn't you stop me after the first one I ate? I ate two of them. You took the bag from me. What was I supposed to do? Bit. <sighs> You know what, it's whatever, let's just go. Y'all lucky I can handle these. Great Sage, how long is this gonna take before it kicks in? Notice, you have about 30 minutes. I had to hurry up before the high kicked in, but that's not even the worst part. Bro reaches in his bag and pulls out a beer. She like, that's your third one, ain't it? I'm like, his third one? She like, yeah, we're going on a date, back to his house. I'm finna get Liddy too when we get there. A date, yep, at his house. Uh, yeah, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of Dooney Land? Uh, no. <sighs> I got a feeling this is one night she won't stand. Bro, five seconds later, I hear a girl outside of the car talking about Antoine? Who's that bitch <laughs> you're in the car with? Instantly, my heart dropped down to my ass. Dude didn't even say nothing. He just looked at her and sat there in silence. Becca looks at her, she like, and who are you? And gets out the car. I knew then and there that it was about to go down. What the fuck? did I get myself into? I didn't realize how much time had went by. Like we've been sitting there for a minute. So I already knew what was coming. As those two were outside arguing, I felt the world getting a lot slower and everything starting to get three times heavier. I was like, yep, I hope she got an Uber cause this little piggy ain't going nowhere. Bro, I looked to the back of the car. Bro is slumped over and throw up is all over my back seat. I'm like, what is going on right now? I'm high, he's drunk. He have made that splat all over my back seat. Beavis and Butthead outside the car trying to fight over a glizzy. He not even conscious enough to care. I ain't have time for all of this. Like food was not enough for compensation for all of this going on. So I was like, you know what? <sighs> Why does this keep happening every time she gets in the car? You know what? Never again. Oh!